Hello, hello. All right, today is patent pending day. Patent pending, love the shot, really fun. Um, if you don't know what a patent pending in is, it's basically you're in a position where you can't throw a regular backhand. My bag right here is a bag in a big tree, and I'm stuck, and I can't really get that backhand out there. So what I'm going to do is rather than put my plant foot behind the disc, I'm going to put my, my back foot behind the disc. I don't know, put my plant foot somewhere that's still legal and face the opposite direction. So you're thinking the hole's that way, but I'm facing this way. Um, why would I do this? So this is something that you'll see a lot. It was, I feel like this is something that's been happening since the 80s and 90s. Uh, it's an old, old trick. I don't know who did it first. It was probably like Barry or Kenny or somebody, but um, it's a useful tool because now I am over to the side of a tree and I've got room to swing my arm freely where I'm not going to be hitting anything. Um, we like that room. But usually what's going to happen is this is what's going to happen from a lot of patent pendings. You're going to set up that patent pending. I'll put this back here a little bit. Set up that patent pending. I'll actually pull this over so we're even more tight. So you can, you can see there's definitely no way we're getting around the tree this way. But this way we can. We can get it. So this is generally what's going to happen when you try a patent pending. You're going to go to throw it and it's going to look like this. It's going to go all the way that way. For reference, I'm trying to follow, the basket's going to be down that white line somewhere. So we're just following that white line. I'm trying to get past this tree and then continue down this way. So first patent pending, you're probably going to throw it way to the left. Um, reason why is you're, you're throwing a shot pointed to the left. So if I look at my, my hips right now, when I'm set up here and I'm aiming down there, my body is set up to throw a shot directly this way right now. It is set up to throw a shot. So if I were to just stand here and throw a normal shot, it's going 90 degrees off of what I want. We are way off the line. So I have to correct my throw in a way that's gonna get the, the, the trajectory from here to here to going down this way, following this path the whole way. So what I'm gonna do, uh, there's two ways you could do it. I'll tell you the first one, don't do this way. This is the not recommended way. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to throw your normal shot, like you're throwing it 90 degrees off the direction. And when you go to let go, you're going to let go way too late. So you're facing the direction at this point. So rather than just a normal shot, you're going to do a normal shot and you're going to massively grip lock it. So I'll try to do that. It's very difficult to purposefully grip lock. And I, I tried, but it didn't really like, not very reliable. I can't trust that at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this method. Um, this is something I learned watching some old YouTube video. I think Macbeth was the first person I heard talk about this, but it's, it's definitely been a common trend among Frisbee people forever. Uh, it's the idea of the hula hoop. So there's a hula hoop around you when you throw, always. And that hula hoop, while it is not physically there, you could, if you took a video of any good player, at any throw, pretty much, other than some weird, stupid, air bouncy things, um, you could see this hula hoop. Um, and what I mean is, when I reach back in a certain direction, boom, so here's my reach back. We'll call it right here for now. The release point is gonna be within that hula hoop if there were a hula hoop attached to that uh, reach back. So my release point is gonna be the opposite side of the hula hoop. So I've got reach back here, release point here. And we use this to throw certain shots. Like hyzers, we're gonna reach back low so that our hula hoop has the release point up higher. Um, we're gonna do this, we're gonna manipulate our hula hoop. So rather than my reach back being my normal spot, I have to think, if I need to release over here, that means I need to put my hula hoop opposite of that. So my hula hoop's gonna be over here. So when I reach back on this pad pending, rather than my normal reach back, I'm gonna reach back opposite of where I wanna release through. So I'm gonna reach back here, and then I'm gonna throw a normal shot to my release point up there. So let's try it out. Yeah, it's going straight, it's getting there. I'll do a few more, try to give you some examples, some softer ones, some harder ones so you can see it. So I'm lining it up, I'm gonna reach back out here so I can pull through across the body. a little more turn maybe needed and like I could do that with a flippier disc I could do that with an Anheuser it's really uh, about what's comfortable to you 
generally people miss their patent pendings to the left because their body is facing to the left. Vice versa, if you're left-handed, you're missing to the right. Try this, so I'm gonna get more ante on this one. Make sure it gets up. And to do that, rather than reaching back out here, I'm gonna reach back like this a little bit. I'm gonna turn my wrist back on that reach back a little. So now I've got the ante acquired on the, the turnover. So now I've adjusted two things. I adjusted my reach back, and then I adjusted my angle I overcompensated an Anheuser. If I would have thrown that regular amount of, that much Anheuser regularly, it would have came through on a roller angle. But because we're facing the wrong direction, everything is kind of minimized. So I have to overdo it. So same thing here. We're going to overdo the angle. Overdo the angle. Reach back away from me. And now we're getting somewhere. It's starting to work out. We're getting a good, clear turnover Anheuser. Um, the last thing that I like to do with this shot is... Uh, Sometimes if I'm feeling squirrely, I'll throw rollers out of it. So I'll grab something really flippy. It's a DX Leopard, very old. Um, and what I'm trying to do here is because I don't have the leg power that I usually would, I'm only doing upper body here. This is mostly upper body. Because it's all upper body, I have to go flippier than I usually would and go more angle than I usually would. So this is a roller disc that I usually throw flat and medium power and it rolls all the way. I'm going to throw this full send in. I'm going to go high and I'm going to go out up there in the air. I'm just going to full send it. I'm getting around the tree. Get down. And now I've just scrambled. I was just stand still behind a tree. My roller's looking at 300, maybe 325. It, it wasn't great. This grass is thick. But imagine you're in the woods and it's downhill. You've got that same line. You're looking at, oh, I've got 400 feet in the woods downhill low ceiling and I got this left pop one of these on them and see what happens stand it up that's gonna ride I get some little hill love on this it's, it's rolling it's going and like that's all you kind of want out of a patent pending is a little bit of love um, so you can kind of get down that fairway so key points to summarize is reach back on your hula hoop adjust your hula hoop it was originally here we're moving it to right here because we want to follow through over there. We want to follow through this point and through that hula hoop. So I need to reach back on that hula hoop, pull through on that hula hoop and adjust it. And because we have lost all of our angle with our body, we're going to have to do more with our wrist and more with our torso if we want more angle. We're going to generally throw too much hyzer on these. So good luck with patent pendings. I hope it helped. Um, I got a bunch of videos I want to try to do. I want to do one that's there's like a series I'm going to do. It's basically, it's what I did to get better. And it's, I've picked a shot that I thought a pro was really, really good at. And I tried to recreate it. So like the first thing that comes to mind is like that Anheuser Ricky throws where he throws his drivers on a little baby Annie and he gets it to like ride over just a little, but it's overstable as hell. And he just smashes it. Like that's a shot that's very specific that he does well. Um, another one is like, you watch like Double G. Double G has his left arm above himself when he throws and he swings it down into his body. Like learning how to do these things that other people do only can help. So um, if you have any suggestions for shots you want to learn how they do it, you want me to break down, leave it in the comments. Let me know. Um, I'd love to break down any shot. Probably won't do much on like video with the shot, but it's because I don't need it. We can learn the shot and then we can talk about it and we can discuss it and you can compare it yourself. So. Awesome. Good luck, everybody. Have a good day.